What's up, everybody? It's Alex from Heavy New York, invading Columbus, Ohio for Sonic Temple Festa. Today we are here with one of five of the Black Dahlia murder. Hi, I'm Brian. What's up? It's great to have you here. Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. What did you eat today? Yeah. I didn't eat anything today. Or you have your own microphone. I don't need to put <laughs> yours. But it's so awesome to have you here, man. Um, you know, now that it's been two years since the release of Nightbringers, do you kind of have like a conclusion on this record cycle? A conclusion? Um, well, we have a couple more shows, but yeah, we're writing new material now and we're heading into the studio this summer, so uh, awesome. we're excited to present some more stuff soon. Yeah. Are you planning on making a direct follow-up to Nightbringers, or do you think that this new record uh, stands out in its own entity? I don't think it'll have too much to do with the last album other than, you know, it's the same band playing it, but yeah, no, it's not like a sequel or anything like that. It's just, you know, some more Black Dolly Murder songs. Awesome. Hopefully you'll enjoy. Yeah. And I know that Nightbringers was the first record that brought Brendan Ellis to the band as well. So being that he also played with Arsis, he obviously had to contribute a little bit more to the songwriting as well, right? Oh, uh, he's definitely, yeah, he's, uh, he brought songs to the table last time uh, on Nightbringers, and he's got, uh, he's brought songs to the table for the next album, too. Um, great stuff. I'm, it's an honor to work with him. He's a very creative dude. And, yeah. And uh, definitely gets what the band's all about, you know. Uh, coming into the band after the band being, you know, an entity for, you know, more than 10 years, um, he just gets it. And... His, everything he writes has been, you know, like he knows what the Black Dolly Murder sound is. So. Yeah, it's cool. It's 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 nice. It's always, it's it's always cool to have a good writing partner that gets what like the original mission statement is of the band. You know. Awesome. What I'm uh, curious about is because you know Black Dolly Murder, you know, is fucking you know death metal as a lot of people like to say and really has that death metal sound that we all love from bands like Cannibal Corpse and Carcass and whatnot. Do you take a new approach to every album or is there ever any experimentation in the songwriting process? I mean there's uh, there's definitely material that's we've produced that's kind of like in I would say like you know the peripheral or the you know the marginal areas of our sound you know kind of stuff that's like outside of what we normally do but we bring the, we try to bring those elements in sometimes uh, and it ends up being a Black Dolly Murder song but um, it's never really like a conscious like effort to like try to do something different or stay the same it's it I, I, I know it's the same for Brandon uh, as it is for me and it's like we just kind of play with our guitars and mess around until something sounds cool yeah. And like an idea that's uh, worth fleshing out and seeing what what would be the next part, and yeah. the part after that, and what's, what makes this a song. Exactly. But, um, yeah, we're not really uh, strategic about it. Okay. It just kind of happens. So there's a lot of improvising involved uh, in your music. Sure. Well, uh, yeah. As far as the, well, what I mean to say is we don't like start writing songs with a goal in mind. Or like it has, all right. Got to produce a song that's like this, or like a fast song that has like a major chorus that you know it's catchy here. It's it's not thought about like that. Okay, yeah. Now I've seen Black Dahlia Murder play multiple times, and I've always thought that while you played with a lot of other heavy bands, they are very different from each other. Like I saw one minute I saw you with Whitechapel, but then I saw you with uh, well I didn't see you sadly, but uh, uh you just did a tour with Meshuga. And like I would say that there's a lot of differences between them and similarities. Do you? Uh, oh, there's there's a lot of shared fans between those two bands. Absolutely. I, I would imagine. I would say out of the, you know the three bands, Meshuggah, White Chapel, and Black Dolly Murder, we're kind of a little more compared to those two. We're we're a little more of a sore thumb, you know. So I thought you guys were a little more of, atmospheric. Uh, hey, man. However, it speaks to you. Awesome. <laughs> I like the atmosphere. There you go. But, like, uh, have you noticed, cause, uh, like, depending on the tours you're on, different types of audiences and stuff? Oh, sure. I know that audience can vary from day to day. <laughs> uh, even if you're on a, you know, a month-long tour with the same three bands. Um, we see all sorts of different people, which is refreshing and cool because there's periods of time... Uh, 
that'll come and go where you see the scene like people become more like they want to look a certain way or acclaim a certain identity like people like dress like I'm the death metal dude or I'm the black metal dude or chick or whatever that is. and uh, now's one of those times where no you're seeing all sorts of different people or they look all sorts of different ways or they look like they're from different walks of life but they're coming to the metal shows yeah and that's cool whatever whatever keeps everything going man if people want to come and see heavy shit they should absolutely we'll be here absolutely Bumping mics. <laughs> absolutely now um Another thing I was uh, really curious about with the Black Dahlia murder is because I've also seen you guys play at a lot of different types of venues. Like when I saw you at Summer Slaughter 2017, that was, um, you know, at the uh, main room at Webster Hall, which is a fairly big sized venue. But then, you know, I saw you at a smaller venue like the Highline Ballroom. And then I saw you on a big, massive stage today, uh, you know, on the Echo stage at Sonic Temple. Is it a different, like, is the live presence ever different depending on like the size or type of stage you're on? There's a ton of variables to any day. Um, and I mean, yeah, there's no, not, a size of a venue is not going to dictate how the show is going to go. It doesn't have an impact on the sound at all or? Well, outside can sound like, or a huge room. A 3,000 person room can sound like cavernous and you know, just like a PA is like shooting all this sound in all sorts of different directions. And it just sounds like soup, sure. But um, it doesn't necessarily mean the show's gonna be bad or good. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, different rooms sound different ways, for Absolutely. sure. So before we go, I'd like to thank you so much for your time today. Uh, thank you. Yeah, is there just uh, anything else? You mentioned that you're working on new music now. Is there any tours that are announced that you would like to promote? We got nothing going on, man. Just watch out. Stay online. Stay logged on. We got new shit coming for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. Everybody, Brian of the Black Dolly Murder Nightbringers. Pick it up if you haven't already out on Metal Blade Records. This is Alex from Heavy New York. We'll see you next time. Peace, love, and fried chicken. <laughs>